Today I've already reviewed Chapex's first place in the recent Elite Cup Finals and on stream I showed you guys the insane strategies they actually use to get high almost every single game. I right, onto the video. Yeah, you can notice how deep they land in half half. Once you position yourself in half half like that, I've talked about before, every moving zone is going to be the equal distance away which won't be a too far of distance so it'll be fine. And you also get access to dead side, which is over here. Because they could have easily landed over here, but they didn't for a reason. First moving pulls and they actually instantly go down here. And it's actually interesting, because they could have stayed up here and padded. But I think what they do is they notice there's like a refarmable spot over there. So what they can do is actually get there early, cover some ground, refarm the stuff so it wasn't useless. So they covered ground for almost no materials basically. And then once zone catches up to them they can pad and get in the zone and then it's kind of like they use two pads and save that many mats because if they pad it from here they pad and just land on some area where there's nothing to refarm and then they'd have to rotate them with mats so they actually save a bunch of mats doing this they land the slayer and you notice how kind of like in the middle of the pack you know it's like decently high up but not so high that height's just not going to be an issue to them at all wow this is crazy <laughs> That's just some alpha moves. They don't even, uh, I guess they get the crack and then they just go off that. And then they notice, I guess, they're just like being f like dual fighting on backside. And it, even if they get hide at this point, obviously, imagine you're up here and there's a team over down here and they want hide as well, then they're easily gonna get it. So they notice they need a bail on their ASAP before they just get themselves in a terrible position. On also, on top of that they get to be that team I talked about over here if they drop down instantly like they made them crank really high up get them in a bad position and then they drop down front side like really quickly and efficiently and then look back and get higher because being in this position now it's like impossible to get higher <laughs> and they both died off full damage that's actually a really cool way of taking on it they like force, I don't know if it was like on purpose or not, but they just force him into a bad position. Okay, just quickly before the next game, I just want to let you guys know that I'm clearly streaming as you can see in the video. I've been doing VOD reviews, viewer VOD reviews, so if you don't want to miss those, actually turn on the notice for this YouTube channel because I'm actually streaming on YouTube. Right, on to the next game. You know, I, I think why this works, I feel like a lot of time when people are on height, they're always looking forward at people that can take height and never backwards. And also, if someone goes this deep back into zone to get a pad, like, it's so hard for these people to hear or tell that someone's gonna land on them. And then obviously they only find out once they land. So they can get a pump off. I feel like as well here, once they crack him, they kind of both instantly go up and kind of look forward to like, I assume, usually they might land on this guy, pump him, and then look forward as teammate and get a crack on him, and then run over and get above him. So they get high that way, because they crack both of them. But obviously now that they've got high gun, they're just sprinting ahead to get a front side so no one else can take it back, I guess. 